Today on 10 Minute IT Gens, we have Anthony Daniel, who is the Regional Director for ANZ and Pacific Islands for WatchGuard Technologies. So welcome to the jam, Anthony. Hey, Nick, how are you? Yeah, good. good. Um, to start off, could we talk about sort of um, WatchGuard's key uh, offerings? What, yeah, what, it, what do you offer in terms of the technology that you do? Yeah. So look, to give you a bit of a background, WatchGuard Technologies was established in, in 1996 and over 25 years experience as a network security vendor and being a global leader in network security, um, secure Wi-Fi, multi-factor authentication, um, advanced endpoint protection and network intelligence. So we have award-winning products and are trusted by you know, nearly 18,000 security resellers and that protects over you know, 250,000 customers globally. You know, our, our, our mission as a business is to provide you know, enterprise-grade uh, security uh, solutions accessible to companies, irrespective of type, uh, size, industry, and you know, making WatchGuard an ideal solution for the mid-market businesses um, and distributed uh, enterprises. So importantly, being a 100% channel business, you know, we pride ourselves on uh, creating solutions and providing support to our security resellers. Um, it's been demonstrated in a number of uh, opportunities and, and um, you know, to mention one particular partner who's our gold partner C3 group who selected WatchGuard many years ago. I mean, they, you know, they help deploy and manage their customers' environments using our solution. Uh, one successful deployment uh, that we worked on together is the iconic brand Akubra Hats, um, who essentially said that we eliminated thousands of daily attacks that were receiving against the Lenovo server. So for some staff that equated to two to three hours each day they received from spam uh, emails. Um, the last point to mention is, you know, with the combination of our great product portfolio offerings and you know, the support and partnership of our channel community, um, we're probably the chop choice for any partner looking at you know, growing their presence and offerings within the, um, within the ANZ market. Right, yeah, brilliant. Um, so you talked about your products and your portfolio. Um, so could you tell me what are the most recent improvements or innovations in your offerings? Sure, Nick. So firstly, when, when our team work on improvements and enhancements, we, we listen to our partners' needs based on what the market demands are. So, you know, this year alone, we've had some exciting updates and releases on our products. Uh, the first one to mention is with our M-Series fireboxes. So this is our firewall. So we have newly released our M-Series, you know, M290, M390, M590, and the M690 uh, fireboxes on October the 5th. And you know, all these fireboxes are able to be managed in our WatchGuard cloud, which is great. You know, we have several key enhancements and benefits starting you know, with the power and speed um, of the new boxes in comparison with the previous models. Um, and it's making the new models even more flexible and future-proof. Uh, what we've done is we've, uh, we've included expansion bays for all the new M-Series, making it easier to connect and power other devices if required. Um, a great key feature to highlight also is the new Firebox appliances integrate seamlessly with our uh, other solutions within the WatchGuard portfolio. So that includes our auth point, uh, multi-factor authentication, WatchGuard Wi-Fi access points, um, and our threat uh, sync endpoint network telemetry products. So, that's been really cool. Um, also this year we, were, we launched our WatchGuard auth point, which is our multi-factor authentication, uh, directly integrated with the fireboxes, the firewall. So this has allowed for not only an easier platform to manage, but it's actually safer when both our products are integrated and working together. So we see any remote access or VPN application should have multi-factor authentication to protect the network from any unauthorized entries, um, and with today's demands and requirements for VPN, any remote user, it becomes even more essential. Um, you know, with this feature, and if you have a firebox, a firewall, this allows for simplicity um, and allows you to configure, you know, your VPN with, uh, with the AuthPoint product. Um, and it's remarkably easy and done within minutes. So this allows for simplicity and, and safety, but it also allows you to, uh, to into the integration as a powerful tool for the zero trust implementation, you know, and that's for everybody as well. So that's a great feature. Um, on the subject of AuthPoint, we also have another key enhancement, which is our AuthPoint user inheritance. So with multi-factor authentication, we see is the key in protecting against credential theft. 
And when we look at the OIC report, um, a promised credential is made up actually over 30% um, of the breaches. So hence why it's a product that will continue to improve um, and develop. You know, with the user inheritance feature, it actually eliminates any additional auth point tokens, which an authorized MSP needs to access their client systems. So our partners, if they are an MSP, say, and can inherit the access to manage the accounts with no uh, cost, and more importantly, without bypassing um, security. So that's a, a, a massive improvement for us. And from what it sounds, seems like our MSPs require. Uh, the last thing to mention is the WatchGuard endpoint security product, which we launched in our WatchGuard cloud. So we acquired Panda security in June of 2020. So that was last year. And yeah, this year we've been, we've been able to integrate the security product into our WatchGuard management and visibility platform. So our flagship EPDR product offers the comprehensive security um, as an antivirus and endpoint protection platform and detection and response product. So as well as obviously threat hunting is included in there and zero trust application services. So, you know, it's all delivered via a single lightweight agent and that's managed from our single uh, cloud-based platform. So we aim to have our endpoint modules uh, available within our WatchGuard cloud, um, such as patch management um, in November. So almost a month away. So those are the exciting uh, features that we have that have come up this year. Mm -hmm, right, yeah. Um, so with IT and cybersecurity in general, there's um, always lots of trends coming onto the scene. So what trends are your teams focused on um, coming into the future? Yeah, so with the trends and how we look at it is, and we, re re we recently released a uh, quarterly internet security report, and that details the top malware trends and network security threats analyzed by our WatchGuard Threat Lab researchers. So the report included new insights based on endpoint threat intelligence detected. So the top findings from the research showed and uncovered an astonishing 91.5% of malware arriving through HTTPS encrypted connections. There was also alarming surges across the fireless malware threats, um, dramatic growth in ransomware and a big increase in network attacks. So, what we saw as important is a part of the layered security is having strong endpoint protection and endpoint detection and response. So solutions are increasingly essential now as the network parameters doesn't you know, always factor in uh, the whole cybersecurity defense equation. And as much as the world's firmly you know, uh, is still operating in a mobile or hybrid uh, workforce model, this has become even more important. So this makes the WatchGuard endpoint as one of the main products development of the team will continue to develop and evolve and you know, security products to, to adapt to ever-changing environments. And so overall, the WatchGuard portfolio will, is designed to protect you know, from outside threats such as the malware, the ransomware, and will continue to do that based on from security reports show and what the market demands are. So that's how, how we end up being laser focused and we look at the trends on what we need to develop and, and what the market requires. Right, yeah. Um, and from an ANZ perspective, um, what infra infrastructure or resources do you have in this region? Yeah, so for our partner community, they have my local team here, um, and that's both the channel account managers and my pre-sales engineers who support the partners on the ground. Uh, we have also two distributors in Australia and uh, also two in New Zealand. Um, for our customers, we have 600 active partners uh, to drive the WatchGuard brand throughout, uh, throughout ANZ. Brilliant, cool. And I have one more question for you, Anthony. Um, if an end user or channel company wanted to engage with WatchGuard, what is the best way to get in touch? So Nick, there, there is a few ways uh, for our end users and customers, they can actually jump uh, on our website and directly on top of the, the, um, of the page, there's a dropdown that says partners. Within that, you can select a partner within your area by selecting your postcode or suburb, and that will give you a certified partner that you can reach out to which is quite cool. Um, for our channel partners and channel community who want to engage with you know, our My Local team, um, on our homepage, you have our contact option, which has you know, my allocation here in ANZ. Alternatively, um, or can feel free to reach out to me uh, on LinkedIn, uh, anthony.daniel, or on my email address, which is anthony.daniel at watchguard.com, and I'll be, uh, I'll be more than happy to assist. Perfect, cool. Well, that's all the questions I have for you today, Anthony. Thank you for joining me today. Pleasure, thank you.